Absolutely. Uh, so exclusive sources tell us about uh, the wish list that's been presented by the industry, by the semiconductor industry to the Ministry of Information and Technology. In fact, sources tell us that the industry has asked for ensuring the continuity of ISM 2.0 and DLI schemes with enhanced fiscal support for semiconductor and OSATs. In fact, uh, if you remember, ISM 2.0 had to be introduced last year. However, discussions and deliberations have been going on and we're given to understand that ISM 2.0 could have separate quotas and manufacturing incentives. It is going to be focused on an overall ecosystem play. But what else has the industry asked for? Well, higher budgetary allocations for approved projects and a simplified time-bound pari passu payout mechanism. They've also asked for reopening and extending the 15% concessional manufacturing tax regime. This is to include semiconductor fabs, electronics components and advanced manufacturing units with the eligibility window extended by another five years to align with projects and their commissioning timelines. In fact, we are given to also understand uh, that one of uh, the asks remains that uh, exports should be strengthened by way of incentives for benefits that are linked to domestic value addition instead of just pure volumes. Uh, they've also asked for a simplification of testing and certification frameworks and rationalization of testing and certification uh, fees. Along with that, uh, the industry has asked for enhanced talent development and R&D funding as well. And last, of course, but not the least, that uh, the industry has asked for development of integrated semiconductor and electronics parks. They should have plug and play infrastructure to enable faster project execution and a holistic ecosystem development.